let's talk about a couple of ways that women can live in harmony with their cycles as it relates mm-hmm. to, you know, self-care and slowing down and when to speed up. And when, you know, I, in, we're recording this, you know, on a, on a full moon. So I hope we're infusing some of that full moon energy into this, into this conversation. I love it. This isn't just a full moon. This is like the full blood flower moon lunar eclipse. And we've got some major action happening here. Yes. <laughs> like some major <laughs> feminine spiritual action here. I love it. And so I, I think it's, yeah. it's a great time to think about how we can use the wisdom of that ever-changing, you know, hormonal milieu to be able to uh, integrate that into our workflow and productivity and self-care. Can you can you shed some light on on why those things are important for us to consider in our menstrual cycle? Yes, I mean we live in a however you cut it. You know, what's that old James Brown song? It's a man's world. Oh yeah, and you mm-hmm. know, there's a very um, the way our entire culture is set up is really around strive and drive and, you know, taking time off or stepping back or setting boundaries isn't really considered the way to be successful. Listening to our bodies is not considered the way to be successful. We override our bodies all the time with caffeine and in some professions, you know, other stimulants. And so we're really driven to keep up with this very male dominated industrial or post-industrial work schedule that doesn't take into account nature and natural rhythms and not to sound woo woo or biologically reductionist. I'm not saying everyone needs to go into a red tent every month and howl at the moon unless you want to. Tonight would probably be a great night to howl at the moon. Actually, I might just actually have to do that (laughs) with the coyotes that live out back. But, um, to start to pay attention to that natural cyclic rhythmic um, biology that we have. And if yours isn't cyclic, that's okay too. If it's irregular, that's okay too. But to start to do what I jokingly call me search instead of research, just start paying attention to what you notice throughout your cycle. I love writing it down. Having that ability to either paper chart or use a tracker and start to pay attention to how long is my period? How many days is it lasting? When do I start to notice that actually I'm kind of wanting to go within and I'm getting really irritable and cranky because I'm not able to and I'm having to, I need a break from, you know, taking care of the kids or I need a day off or I need to just get out into nature. And just start to notice, because I think even in noticing, even if you can't not show up at your day job that day, because, you know, you have to show up, but noting, okay, I feel different rather than like, what's wrong with me? I'm tired. I'm cranky. I'm irritable. or having it, you know, externalize where you're acting it out. You can just say, all right, right now I'm wanting to do that. And I'm forced to do this. And it's, creating a, 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 a schism between what I need and what I can do. Sometimes just even acknowledging that and honoring that can be incredibly liberating emotionally 